One open the fly, how's it going? How you doing? Shit, what's the word, Moo? I feel like I'm production the long way. Shit. It's about Obi Fly, real Southwest, you know what I'm saying? Real Southwest Houston. Southwest Houston, very nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nigerian, you know what I'm saying? Just coming on with the grind for Houston, you feel me? Really, it's us against them, us against the world, because every day, you know what I'm saying? They're going to try to compare to us, you feel me? And I just want them niggas that, you know what I'm saying, put on the map that they're going to compare to. So. No, it's my boy Ray right here, you feel me? I know my man's a long time, boys coming up. You know, you always keep the real circle, I always keep the nigga that been down for the long time, which you know what I'm saying, you're gonna stay down, you're gonna come up. Over here, we gonna take flight, you feel me? That's what it is. So shit, you know what I'm saying, you got any pillow for me, move, you know what I'm saying, I'm here for whatever. You know what I'm saying, we keep it 100, the long way. Your slogan, take flight, like, can you explain that to us? She, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm 23, but you know what I'm saying, I was young, you know what I'm saying, I've been straight, like, everything about me about just going up. And I've been turning up since I was young, you know what I'm saying? I was a young nigga, but I was hanging with some old niggas, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I was smoking weed when I was young. I was being big ass. So it's like, I, I just be, everything about me just, you know what I'm saying? I be, I be faded, I be hot. So, you know what I'm saying? There's like, you know, as you mature, you know, we get older, you feel me? You just come up with like new ideas and new things to come on to. So now, you know what I'm saying? We on the straight path. Everybody, you know, doing what they're doing, you know, trying to get some money, take care of the family, you know what I'm saying? Just maintain stability. We take a flight. It just mean you get it right, you know what I'm saying? That's really all it is now. But shit, you know what I'm saying? So I'll be fly. You know, I got flight attendants, that's the bad bitch, you know what I'm saying? I got the real niggas, we all some pilots, you know what I'm saying? Cause you try everybody ultimately say so you trying to become a boss, you know what I'm saying? You ain't no boss if you don't control your time, you know what I'm saying? Now everybody wanna be a boss, they're talking about they're a boss, but how you a boss if you know what I'm saying, like you ain't control your own time, you with another nigga or you doing this, this, that. And you about to set it up. That's what the boss do, you know what I'm saying? So we ultimately everybody who follow me, we all trying to become bosses, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Whether I'm there yet or you there yet, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, I'm thugging, trying to get where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? That's everybody. You know what I'm saying? You, you a man enough, you trying to get to be enough. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm trying to get everybody there. You know what I'm saying? The whole team, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no just handouts, though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, we all working. Like, everybody just create a team of people. Everybody got a certain talent. You know what I'm saying? When man's ain't on with something, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna make my man a cameraman. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just different shit everybody got to do. We all working together. You feel me? And I'm just trying to make sure we gonna see that plan through. Like, I got the blueprint, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, they think it's a rush. Ain't no rush with it, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? We gotta, we, we humble at the same time. At the same time, we know we know what's going on. Like, everybody got to, you know what I'm saying? It's different strings attached. And we connect into all the strings. And you know, within a certain time, like, we just feel like we're gonna be comfortable. We're gonna be where we want to be, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to get, get right with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no beef or nothing, you know what I'm saying? So, that's all it is. You mentioned a team, like is it a street team or is are, are you planning on building a label? Now like I got Bills Pay Forever Empire, you know what I'm saying? That's a self made self made little label thing I got going on, you know what I'm saying? But now like street team as in, you know what I'm saying, like it's niggas I got, you know what I'm saying, I got niggas not bad, I got you know niggas working, I got, you know what I'm saying, everybody just doing their own little hustle. Or everybody just maintaining, you know what I'm saying? But maintaining or riding the borderline ain't really what it is, you know what I'm saying? We gotta come above that. You know what I'm saying? So I got you know what I'm saying? My little partner just came home. He finna, he finna hop on. He do graphic design, you know what I'm saying? So, I'ma have him straight graphic design, you know what I'm saying? For everything I gotta do, you know what I'm saying? It's a hundred for every single one. You know, I'm finna be dropping going on, so he gonna be getting bread now, you know what I'm saying? So, it's just, it's just different thing. Like, everybody, you know what I'm saying? We just put faith in, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, you know, who got a real mind, you know what I'm saying? But who can stay focused, you know what I'm saying? Especially when they come home. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was locked up. My brother always come to visit me, you know what I'm saying? But it was it was just different shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas say, your homie, they say free you and shit, you know what I'm saying? But they ain't coming through, they don't hit you up, they ain't right back. Like my nigga Jojo man said, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, ain't gonna like that shit, I ain't like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I call you, ain't on the phone, but when I come home, you're my homie, that ain't how it go, but shit. You know what I'm saying? We forgive and forget sometimes, it all depends on different situations, but, nah, it's a team, as in, you know what I'm saying? It's all blood in, blood out, you know what I'm saying? It's just how it go. I really feel in, I really feel what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? You don't believe what you're talking about, then it ain't gonna come true. That's it. On your label, are you the only artist? Right now, I'm the only artist, you know what I'm saying? Just me, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but I'm gonna push for it. I'm gonna push for it, you know what I'm saying? Like some of my partners who I really believe in, like Jojo Man, you know what I'm saying? He, he the salamander, you feel me? He come home a couple months, free that nigga. And it's, uh, you know, right now, we just building, we working towards, you know what I'm saying? I just got the copyright trademark, you know what I'm saying? So it's official. You know what I'm saying? It's a real thing. Ain't no more just dreams and all that. You know, you can Google it, pop up, I pop up. You know what I'm saying? It say you where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? So, 
we trying to become more established, you know what I'm saying? It's just, the music is going to be there. Everybody knows it's hard, so it's going to be there. But behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying, a lot of artists, you know, they, they ain't really working on, you know what I'm saying, what, what it is, their image and, you know, things about themselves. Like, you know, labels and all that, they're going to be more attached to somebody who just been, you know what I'm saying, you really, you really know what you're doing, you know what you're on, you know what I'm saying, you know the right, the right things, you know how to promote, you know how to market them. You know what I'm saying, just target certain, like, you know, all the little demographics and all that stuff. So it was like, I was able to come up with just a label name, you know what I'm saying, we got the merchandise, all that on the way, you know what I'm saying, the website, openfagabana.com is up. You feel me? And it's just uh we get money, you know what I'm saying? They got me labeled in as a songwriter and all that. So there's a lot of things that other artists, you know what I'm saying, they don't really know as much. But you know what I'm saying, we're here to teach. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna teach this free game right here. Everything that you're hearing right now for me, that's free game. You feel me? So you can just listen and learn, but you know what I'm saying, the concerts, it ain't a listen party, it's a concert. We we here to show you what it is. So I'm here to show you what it is. That's all I'm gonna do. For real. Like, that's how it goes. I know, so I'm just saying, like, it's Houston, Texas, you know what I'm saying? Like, when they, we capitalize the U.S. every time. That's how it goes. That's us. He started that, you know what I'm saying? He a up. <laughs> you feel me? So, like, everybody want to be blogging now. Everybody want to be rapping now, you know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's millions of rappers, and I'm one of them. You feel me? But, I'm, I'm humble at the same time, but I feel, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, everybody with the, with the, that what you're calling, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's all I got, you know what I'm saying? So, that's what I'm focused on. This is all I got. You feel me? So that's why I feel like I might, I might come on. But it's me. Like everything I'm saying is me. It's like what I know, what I see, what I heard, what I feel is me. You know what I'm saying? I'm focused on it. That's how Moo focus on what he, what he do. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas focus, like Kobe focus, he focus on basketball, LeBron focus on the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? I'm focused on the rap. You know what I'm saying? Because this rap is real. It's art. Like how painters paint their pitch. So I'm going to play my lyrics and I'm going to get hard on the beat. Every time I do it, that's my A Red Studio because that's where I go. I ain't going nowhere else. A Red Studio. You feel me? So, hey, man, shit change. I'm keeping the same, the same everything, you feel me? And I'm going to show you how to come up in the city without having to... I mean, yeah, you're going you to leave, you know what I'm saying? You can leave and go ahead and, uh, you know, start up a little fan base, a little, little, little connect, networking. That's the most important thing ever. Networking the port, you know what I'm saying? Moo taught me that, networking the port. We got to come out. You know what I'm saying? How you going to come out of your own city, but you're but you going to be an artist, you know what I'm saying? People don't see you, they don't feed you. I'm going to feel somebody I ain't never seen before, but, we, but he lives by me. How I'm going to feed you, you know what I'm saying? I go up. Somewhere that's supposed to be a popular place and it's in the hood and you ain't never up, but you, you know what I'm saying? It don't never make no sense. Like, you don't come out in the city that people ain't gonna know you, they ain't gonna feel you. You, you ain't real. You know what I'm saying? He ain't a real person. He did the same thing as me, but he blew up. It don't make no sense. So, I know I go out. I go out, I come out, you know what I'm saying? I bring my niggas with me, it don't matter. We pull a 1D, 2D, 3D, 4D. You know what I'm saying? We all there. It's a team, you know what I'm saying? So, every, every time you come out, you bring your team with you. They can't go, they can't go, but. You know what I'm saying? Every little situation, everything that go down, you gotta let everybody know. Everybody supposed to know. Ain't no way, you know what I'm saying, your partner's know where you at. That don't make no sense. I know you say you look in the sign like your friends when they come home, but as far as like artists that you don't know, if they wanted to sign with you, like how would they go about getting their music to you? You know what I'm saying? Like artists, they send their email right there from the Instagram, you know what I'm saying? It tell you straight content. It tell you what what the email, who the email, you want email straight to me. But you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to hear about it within 30 minutes. I promise you. But I was getting, like, when I was posting my own little, you know what I'm saying, Instagram, the video, you know, we, we get them sponsored and all that. The artists see what's going on. They really like, damn, this, this, this is really hard. You know what I'm saying? Different voice, different sound. You always got to focus on you and nobody else. It's, um, you know, they DMing me. Somebody said, let me rap for you. You know what I'm saying? Said, I mean, you can rap for me, but it's like, I can help you with exposure and all that, but I'm not really, I ain't, I ain't your Gotti or your Dolphin, nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get to that point too. So I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to be real, I'm going to be honest, you know what I'm saying? But, nah, I always, I'm really, I'm willing to help anybody who, who for real about what they're doing, you know what I'm saying? So you go to the profile, you can just see things, you see their story, you know what I'm saying? You don't ever just look at a glance, you know what I'm saying, just by its cover, and then just dip away. You know, we look at the stuff, you know what I'm saying? I look at the stuff, all they, everything, you know what I'm saying? So what they're talking about. And if it ain't really what it is, then... So you're gonna have to just like you gonna leave all you gonna leave it alone, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we might not reply after we see it. Sometimes we tell them just keep working, keep grinding, you know what I'm saying? So I just, you know, like Jojo Man, I feel when he come home, you know what I'm saying? I put him out with the same same effort. I put him myself. He he might, you know what I'm saying, go past me or the same level type shit. But you know, every day we work, you know what I'm saying, everybody trying to go harder and it's it just you know it, it is what it is, you feel me? It just a lot of a lot of roles. A lot of paths to take, you feel me? So you reach whoever you can reach. And if I could be somebody you reach who can just tell you certain things to do, you know what I'm saying? And you, you get there before me, then congratulations, you feel me? I salute you, you know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't no, 
ain't no problem with nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody can get on, everybody can get on. Like, everybody trying to feed, everybody trying to work, everybody everybody got a different vision. So, you know what I'm saying? You all just got to see the path through. That's what I'm trying to see it, see it through for everybody. Myself, whoever. Strangers and all, I don't really care, but my partners, of course, they're going to come first. That's how it is. As far as your music, like, how do you uh, distribute your music? Me, before, like, uh, when I had first came home, you know what I'm saying? Most of the music was on YouTube and SoundCloud, but, you know what I'm saying? It was people putting me on game and stuff, so I was really, okay, yeah, let's get on the album music. Let's get on the SoundCloud, the Spotify, like, all the, all the paid stuff, you know what I'm saying? Premier memberships and all the things like that. I had hopped on TuneCore at first. My partner said about CD Baby, but he on CD Baby, but I see he ain't, he ain't really that much different. So I said, let me try something new. So I tried to TuneCore. TuneCore was straight, you know what I'm saying? He was bringing a little revenue. They knew how to uh, distribute to major major uh, platforms, stuff like that. The thing I found out with, with Digital Kid was really the same thing, and they had, you know what I'm saying, leadership from TuneCore going over to Digital Kid. So I had joined it with Digital Kid. So a lot of artists, you don't know, you know what I'm saying? You on the you on your phone, you, you distributing with a with a free app, you know what I'm saying? Like don't be really using, don't use stuff like that because they ain't got no benefits for you. You feel me? Like Digital Kid, they got benefits for you. You know what I'm saying? It's only like 30, 30, 30 songs, you know, whatever, whatever it price is, you know what I'm saying? Go look it up, really. So I ain't got to tell you it. Just you hear what it's called, go, go Google your friend, you know what I'm saying? Go search it up. It tell you low prices for, you know what I'm saying? Small amount of pay, like low price for a whole year. You distribute it in all, you don't got to pay low every little time, you know what I'm saying? Unless you're going to put it up for like extra stores and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They don't never take nothing from you. You know what I'm saying? They got the ASCAP, that's the, uh, the authors and the publishers. Like really, it's the songwriting copyright. You gotta become a member of that, you know what I'm saying? You get bread off that, revenue off that, you know what I'm saying? It just solidifies who you are in this world and, and what you gonna do. So for any upcoming artists like that one that was getting to the music business, would you tell them, like, I know you said you started off with TuneCore, right? But now you, you uh, using DistroKid. Which one would you basically tell them the route to go, the better route to I'll go? I'll rip, go to DistroKid. Like, I'll rip, that's where you gotta go because they help you with the links and you know what I'm saying? The pre-orders and you know, your lyrics on there, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was on Apple Music, and I'm like, damn, everybody got their lyrics, you know what I'm saying? You got the music, you got their lyrics, you know what I'm saying? You never really just had their lyrics at the same time you been listening to the music. And I'm like, damn, how you do that? You know what I'm saying? I was on Tuco, I ain't, I ain't, they ain't had it, they ain't had that for me, you know what I'm saying? I got a district kid, they had that for me. So now people can listen to my music, really see what I'm saying at the same time while they, you know what I'm saying, like karaoke or whatever it is, but the lyrics laid up, you know what I'm saying? So now they pop up on Genius and all that, you know what I'm saying? District kid help you get on the playlist and all that. Especially when you do the pre-order time, you know what I'm saying? You don't never want to rush your music. You always want to take your time. Like, this your kid, they're going to help you take your time with the pre-ordering. You know what I'm saying? They're going to submit the playlist for you. You're going to submit the playlist yourself. You know what I'm saying? Everything will be automatic. You know what I'm saying? It's manual work. How you going to put in work when you think it's going to show up? Ain't no genie ain't rubbing no lamp. You know what I'm saying? It's real shit. But nah, this your kid was really what it is. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? A lot of them, it's different things like uh, they got like public relations websites for artists and stuff like that. Like artist PR, I can't go Google that. You know, what I'm saying I'm gonna tell you too much, but you are gonna learn about it. You know, what I'm saying they gonna everything ain't free. You know, so you 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 investing in stuff that ain't free, but it's just different methods and things that you know, a lot of people, artists don't really know about. this. go make music, go to the studio, release it, put on SoundCloud, whatever, and that's it. It's just different things you got to do and things behind the scenes that they want to go pay somebody else to do, but somebody else might steal your money at the same time. So a lot of shit you really gotta do yourself. When the time come and the money come in, you know what I'm saying, you can trust in somebody or it's it really gotta be a company or organization for the people, then yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? You can pay for all whatever you wanna do for your manager. And they gonna really be nothing. But you, you gotta uh, always keep networking, you know what I'm saying, find different contexts, cause you can find different distribution through, you know what I'm saying, different different labels and different people. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta sign to no major label, you can do distribution through them. You know what I'm saying? So it's just different things. All over. You don't you know what I'm learning. You know what I'm saying? Nobody perfect. Do the platforms that you use, do they have like tactics for promotions or do you like base it off of social media? Really, uh, some of the platforms, like, there's one called United Masters. United Masters, I ain't never really distribute with them, but I be using them to see because they help me with social media statistics and things like that. They help you, you know what I'm saying, like aim towards like what you're supposed to be doing. But I ain't never using for it. I did it on my own. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't really want to change up too much of the platform we was using the different distribution stuff. But you always want to keep it consistent and know just like, okay, let's see. For me, the time's still coming where I ain't really found that one yet. Like, this kid, I ain't going to be stuck with this kid forever. You know what I'm saying? You're going to find different ones. Like I got 6017, 
that's my management, you know what I'm saying? 60, 17 productions. So they've been working, you know what I'm saying? They're in Dallas, they're in Tennessee. They really be promoting me, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like they I'm like their face right now. Like it's a lot, it's a lot of different strategies, things go so with them, I just really learned like it's like they wasn't just doing it for me. I wanted to know what they was doing, you know, at the same time, you know what I'm saying? So I'm getting great, I, I gotta know what you was doing. So we are just learning about the shit. But uh like it's email contacts, you know what I'm saying? Like the little emails you be getting, like from the scenes and the clubs, but you're like, I don't even go to the club, like I ain't never been to the club, but they emailing me about, you know what I'm saying, whatever new nights they got. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's DJs who do that with, with, with wherever they, you know what I'm saying? They want you a little mistake, whatever they say. It's artists who can do that with, with music. So it's 670 Productions, they brought that on to me, so we're doing that right now with my music. So it's spreading, you know what I'm saying, even farther. Like, you know, I'm looking at the statistics on Apple Music. Astronomy hit like a thousand the first week, you know what I'm saying? And that is just crazier than anything else, you know what I'm saying? So that's the most recent song. But Mojo dropped now, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Enzo and Fly. The whole album now, she on our platform. Astronomy really did like a difference in numbers for me, you know what I'm saying, as any single, you know what I'm saying, so as time just goes, you just keep on getting better, you know what I'm saying, but with that, Astronomy was seen, the other songs from the other previous albums, they was all seen, so everybody hit a new highs and new daily plays and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, so you gotta have the artists, Apple Music, you know what I'm saying, so you can watch over your shit, Spotify, you sign up with them, you become a Spotify verified artist, you know what I'm saying, it'll say, you a verified artist, so you gotta have your artist to Spotify, you know what I'm saying? You really gotta get your music out there. Everything is free. Working with Enzo, I know y'all have a song together. Like, how was that? And like, how did that come about? Cause really, with Enzo, you know what I'm saying? I had did uh, the shows with the A Red Hat, he had Splurge, he had Queen, was Enzo was on Autumn Hoes. So we was really just pulling up, we was linking up, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, damn, cause he's familiar face again. He, he needs to go hard, maybe to go hard. So we, we had locked in, you know what I'm saying? Uh, another show. 1800 got Slim on the ground, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Slim, she verified. He had a shot at that hoe, you know what I'm saying? I was the first, and so pull up, you know what I'm saying? So we were really just licking in, you know what I'm saying? Woo -woo. So we were locked in that whole time, we was mobbing around that hoe. So since then, you know what I'm saying? Nick, real nigga was just like real nigga, so we was like, shit, we, we, we gotta go in the A Red, you know what I'm saying? That's our nigga, let's pull up A Red. Shit, I came in with it with Mojo, you know what I'm saying? That hoe, everybody was like, yeah, that hoe hard, you know what I'm saying? I said, I'm gonna put Enzo on that hoe. So I put Enzo on that hoe, we made the track. And ever since then, we, we knew we had had one, you know what I'm saying? Really, the marketing the branding, like, that whole ain't even done with. Got the chocolate screw coming soon, you know what I'm saying? The video, everybody waiting on that whole, like, that whole, like, really, with your music, you gotta wait on people to wait. Like, they gotta ask for it, you know what I'm saying? Right now, Mojo, they asking for it. So it's like, uh, it was really just real niggas, we just linked up. Had to make some hot shit happen, that's what we do. It was like, shit, LeBron, C. Carmelo, and they, they chilling both in their gym uniform, shit, let's go hoop, let's go hoop. You know what I'm saying? We rap, let's go rap, that's what we do. So that's what we just did. We just hopped on the track, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody had to do nothing. You know, just two real niggas on, on one song. So in due time, that song gonna come for what it's worth, you feel me? And the whole go whole hard. And, you know what I'm saying, my bars and his bars, that just some shit that, you know what I'm saying, niggas gotta pay for. So that's just some hard shit. So I feel like that whole gonna come up. You just give it due time, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna drop the video with whoever gonna, it's gonna drop with. But you had a whole album music, download the video to your phone, you know what I'm saying, in your library. All right, we, got, we got everything playing for that whole. I trust him. Trust him, listen to that whole. He's gonna be got one. You know, you say uh, A Red, that's the only engineer you work with. Like, how did that connection happen? Man, really, really, before I started even making music, you know what I'm saying? I was pulling up. I had my nigga Yaya, Yaya was making music. And uh, A Red was at a different spot, though, you know what I'm saying? I had seen he had this big ass wall. Everybody used to sign when they used to uh, come in and record. And I was saying, like, this line is a fuck with in the house. Like, there was a whole bunch of cream and just all kinds of people in that house. And I'm like, damn, so, like, yeah. Old, old, old niggas in that hoe, new niggas in that hoe. So he must be official, you feel me? So that shit crazy. But I had got left up. So I didn't get to see, you know what I'm saying, uh, really what he was about at that time when I was uh, becoming interested. But you know, when I was over there, I was riding the music, you know what I'm saying? So I came home after 13 months. And, uh, first week, I hit an A raid, you know what I'm saying? I was with it. I came with it. Like, I came home, I was on no bullshit. I already had roof in my head, so all I had to do was hustle. So I hit an A Red, you know what I'm saying, first week. I made like three songs. That's that time to fly. You know what I'm saying? That time to fly EP. Cause when I, like, if I got locked up, my name was Jason Gabbana. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even up to fly. I ain't, no, I, ain't, I ain't never know up to fly before 2016. But my nigga, my nigga Mike, you know what I'm saying? He got, he got like, he had told me, he said, I remember we talk every day, everybody in the whole tank. They be like, you know what I'm saying, why, why Jason Gabbana? And really, I was already thinking that, cause when you Google Gabbana, you know what I'm saying? But other shit gonna pop up. 
So I want to be about me, Obi Fly. Mike was like, shit, make your name Obi Fly. You know what I'm saying? That's my last name. I'm Nigerian. You know what I'm saying? I'm Nigerian, but I'm from Southwest. I never really left like that. I was born here. You feel me? And so my last name is Obi Fly. You feel me? So he was like, shit, Obi Fly, Obi Fly. It, it come in. You know what I'm saying? It means something to me. You feel me? It, it, it what it is. Real name is part of me. So you search that now, the none pop up with me. My date of birth, my age, and all that shit really come with it. But that shit come with the music. You know what I'm saying? I'm an artist. So my name pop up with the picture and it say American rap. I'd be like, damn, that shit really crazy, man. I'm working in to get to get to this, you know what I'm saying? My picture pop up, the music pop up, everything you ever need to know pop up, and it's it's crazy except for the secret shit. Like, what would you say? What what would be the difference between Obi Fly and Gabbana? So Obi Fly, that's a new brand, you know what I'm saying? That's me. That's a new name, new logo. You know what I'm saying? Tell me my skin, the logo, face card, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to walk up, oh, that's Obi Fly, you know what I'm saying? Like, you see Gabbana, okay, it's just an accessory. It ain't, it ain't really, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't come with no face. But like, Gabbana was, it was this cool little name, you know what I'm saying? It came up with a high school, middle school, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But Obi Fly, you know what I'm saying? I became a man. That's a man's name, you feel me? That's me. And that's a new brand, a new logo, you know what I'm saying? It bringing its own revenue. Just like Gabbana bringing revenue, you know what I'm saying? So people gonna see Gabbana, go check Gabbana, oh, let me be you. Whatever it is, Gabbana. You know what I'm saying? So they're gonna see up the fly. Okay, let me be whatever it is, fly. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, let me be whatever it is, OB, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So this is a new trendsetter. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a trendsetter. So, so I just believe in myself and my name to be what, you know what I'm saying? Me and other people believe in me, what they can come to. You mentioned you did 13 months in jail. Like, what was the reason behind you going to jail? But shit, you know what I'm saying? Nigga was really on some, you know what I'm saying? Making moves. So, uh, I was making a little move when I was going home. Like I said, I was my first time getting put out. I was like 19. You know what I'm saying? I was coming coming down the bellway. I was like, got my ass. I thought I'd just put a little gas I had on me. You know what I'm saying? But that time he didn't come up to the whip. You feel me? They just he pointed straight at me. He was talking to Intercon. You know what I'm saying? I had a little gas on the floor, but uh, I I ain't think really shit. You know what I'm saying? Had but when I went over there, it was they gave me bait in the wrist. You know what I'm saying? But some shit happened before that. They asked me questions, but they ain't really know what was going down. I said, I'm by myself, you feel me? So I was going like 100 some on the freeway, that's what they told me. Sometimes I'm just getting a speed ticket, they told me to be in the wrist. You know what I'm saying, with the tension. I ain't know what that meant, but that just meant, I guess, the vehicle or whatever. It was feeling these shit, I got behind out a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? So after that, I was going to court, getting reset, reset. Yeah, uh, I had kind of marijuana charge on four band, you feel me? I had like 30 grams. They, they tried to get me with distribution, but I got the whole dismissed. Cause I had got locked up. I was uh, I had signed probation with the Harris County shit. So I had got locked up for that in the Fort Bend. I ain't, I ain't go back to the probation. You feel me? So I was just moving around. You know, so I was just living. I forgot I said fuck that shit. So shit, them boys they had came into the house, but I was straight slump. Man, I was my underwear and everything. Them boys came in, they had got my ass though. They said hey, my shit was fugitive. You know what I'm saying? They put me out for war or whatever. So they had gave me a bomb, I bought 800,000. That's what I said on the real ones, you know what I'm saying? It was niggas in that hoe. They shit was lower than mine, they had murder. I said, I don't know why my shit 800,000. Ain't made no sense to me, but, you know what I'm saying? The whole ass shit always trying to hoe, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas who just, they can't get doing nothing, you know what I'm saying? They trying to get a nigga doing. But, uh, I did a little 13 months in that hoe. They came home, you feel me? Probation, all that shit was dismissed, you know what I'm saying? I ain't had nothing. So I was good. So I said, shit, I ain't doing no tripping in, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is, but shit, when they came home, I just said, you know what I'm, I'm going to stick with what it is that I came up with, what I started with, what the plan was, you know what I'm saying? So I, I was out there, you know, so we working out and shit, but I'm, I'm really thinking about what it is I'm trying to do when I come home, because I said, no, these niggas, they're not coming home, but I'm coming home. So they giving me game and ideas and shit on, you know what I'm saying, what, what to do, who not to fuck with, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of niggas I can't, I ain't, I ain't fuck with, you know what I'm saying? They mentioned my name on Twitter, whatever they doing, but I nah, ain't getting no retweet, ain't getting no like, but you know, shit, I ain't. I was, I was dead to y'all. Y'all talking some free, but I was dead to y'all though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know nothing. Y'all ain't giving me nothing back from the outside world, no picture, no nothing. So shit, like, it just shit you go through, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it just shit that you see, you just change in some ways, but you always gonna remain a real nigga. Me, I always remain a real nigga, but it just seems like the shit for the better. That's what done change, really. That's what it is. But I just stay down for, you know what I'm saying? The Southwest and me, myself, and family. That's all gonna come first. But uh, nah, I'm good now though. I ain't, I ain't worried about no law, I ain't worried about 12, no parole, no nothing. I'm Gucci.
don't know about me. You know what I'm saying? Try and get to it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, like, we're going to make the music. Like, I, I can't just make no. My mom was talking about some, make some church music. I said, make some church music. What you talking about? I said, I can't determine that, that ain't me. You know what I'm saying? She want to help me. Like, they, they hear the music. You know what I'm saying? Everybody everybody hear the music. You feel me? Family and all. You know what I'm saying? Even, even if they ain't going to tell you they hear the music, they hear the music. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? Why you ain't going to show me that you hear the music? Like, I. How am I supposed to know you hear the music? You know what I'm saying? It don't, it don't, it don't make no sense. Like, shut, let, me, let, me, let me see the support. You feel me? You look at a nigga, they see, they see you in person, like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they know you now. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I be seeing the music, I be seeing the music. Nigga, you follow me on Instagram, you see all the music. Nigga, they don't never like or comment or, or nothing. But it be strangers him doing this shit. Like, my shit can see a thousand times on the sport page. They be strangers doing it. My own niggas, they don't, they don't, you don't know if they see it until you see them in person. We, but my own people, they support me though, you know what I'm saying? No, we Nigerian. So really that shit ain't even gonna be common, you know what I'm saying? It's we we on some different shit, like from what I done did, ain't really nothing they can do. I ain't on the leash, like other day I'll be too strict, whatever. Yeah, I do what I do. I was 14, I pay my own phone bill, you feel me? So I was trying to get. But my own mama and she put my music, you know what I'm saying? That mean a lot to me, because a lot of people they ain't gonna get that. You know what I'm saying? I know she she tried to get my shit on the radio station. They told her they said Oh, he make clean music, he go a long way. So I know, I said she must give it to some Christian, I don't know, station or something, but nah, that ain't me. I can't make what ain't me. That's how it goes. You mentioned you was very young when you started smoking weed. How old were you? I was 13. I was in Parkville Middle School. You know what I'm saying? I was bad. Like, we was in the little, uh, both my niggas, you know what I'm saying? I got here with me, we went to Parkville. I was bad in that I was getting put in that little sack shit. Uh, it's close to special, man. That shit used to piss me off. So we just kicked that hoe. Man, he was niggas older than me, though. Like, nigga be 15, 16, in eighth grade, though. You know what I'm saying? We, we go to around, we go around back, we got out of school. We was kicked off the school bus. So when all this shit just started happening, it was like, man, I had too much freedom. It just so much work. Rather than just going to school, you know what I'm saying? And just seeing shit, like, you, know, you see the same shit every day. They suspend me from the bus. So I ain't riding no school bus. School was far, though. I was like 12 minutes from the crib, you feel me? So shit, we out here on the street, we walking, you know what I'm saying? We seeing different people, talking different shit, you know what I'm saying? Waiting at metro stops, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, we smoke gas, like at school, we smoke gas, you know what I'm saying? My partner apartment, like, I'm really Nigerian, you know what I'm saying? So I was really, really seeing most of the Nigerian shit outside of school, you know what I'm saying? So once we like get in trouble and all that, you get in trouble, but you just start seeing different bands. I was really hanging with, like some of my partners that be from here, like their parents be on, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn, like, Y'all like that? You smoking for the first time? And you was like, ooh, this shit crazy. This shit good. Then it was some gas. It wasn't no Reggie, man. He was smoking Reggie shit for the first time. I ain't smoking Reggie for the first time. The first time I ever smoked Reggie, like, my partner, my partner d roll pulled up on me some Reggie, you know what I'm saying? Because she was young. He, he just hopped on that whole high school, but I was already in gas, though. They didn't really know that. I'm in the hood. Ooh, boy, this house some gas. I was not some gas, but I playing with him. Nah, uh. Now the gas shit, it, it, it had a nigga feeling good, you know what I'm saying? So I made it through through high school and all that, you know what I'm saying? Doing that shit from 13 to 18, you know what I'm saying? But you no, know, we was been cheating, but that shit easy. But nah, that gas had a nigga feeling good, so that's what I was on, you know what I'm saying? It was just really influenced, because if I'm seeing other adults do it, shit, I can do it too, you know what I'm saying? Why not? So I, like, well, I, ain't, I ain't really like that cigarette shit, though. Niggas dying off that. I said, no, sir. No, sir, not me. Mm -mm. They talking like robots. So especially like right now, they might offer me a black. I smoke my, I'm smoking my, my, my blunt, you know what I'm saying? I'm smoking my game, my wood, whatever it is I smoke. Oh, they, oh, you smoke cigarette? I'm, I'm not, no sir, not me, pop. Not me, I can't do it. I use my voice, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna end up talking like robots, the cancer shit crazy, you know what I'm saying? That's one thing I turn it away from, I turn it from the cigarettes, because them hoes crazy, them hoes killing. Shit, throw some stress with this shit, I'd rather go smoke hookah. <laughs> but the hookah, I'm smoking my head weed in, you know what I'm saying? It's starting to be steaming right now, you know what I'm talking about? But at 13, like, what was your parents' reaction? Nah, I ain't gonna lie, they ain't, they ain't no shit. Really, they ain't, they ain't no nothing. Like, I was hiding everything. Especially when I got my, my ears, my, I got my ears put at 16. You know what I'm saying? I was wearing headphones like a year straight. You know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> I ain't really had to go no, like, too much like out with them. You know what I'm saying? Where they even had to, to see something. You know what I'm saying? Like, they was working. You know what I'm saying? Like, people think we had to eat and now everybody was working. Mama had about two, three jobs. So she going all day. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know daddy time, like, his set frame. So you know when not to beat up or, you know what I'm saying, like when not to pull up or you know, when to leave and shit like that. My mama gone all day, about 12, 13 hours straight. So my mama working hard. So she ain't really get to see nothing, not too much, you know what I'm saying. But gas, I was doing it in the house. I was doing it around whoever I was with. 
like, especially like running school times and shit like that. But really, like when the time came to it, like, as I got older, they first knew when I got caught up with it type shit. Like, when I had got like that, that's when they all, oh, he, oh, he, he, he really with the weed and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They all, your partner sell weed, you wanna sell weed? I said, shit, nigga, I pay my own phone bill, 14, shit. I guess I gotta do something, huh? It ain't made no sense. I wasn't selling this shit on that young, but like we, that's what, that's what I had like, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit, that shit, it was good. Like it made nigga feel bad, you know what I'm saying? We wasn't, we wasn't dying off or nothing like that, but they, they lock us up for it, you know what I'm saying? But with them, it's entrepreneurship. But it's whatever though. Shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do me with my gas. I'm gonna be fly, you know what I'm saying? I'm the flyest nigga you ever seen. I'm, I'm stay high, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the cloud. The same time, fly than the bitch though, you feel me? That's how I go. <laughs> Let me say, uh, you sm smoking weed at 13, you have a friend that's doing life in jail, you did 13 months yourself. Like, your environment growing up, how was it? But really, I was going through, uh, you know what I'm saying, like shit, shit that everybody who's with me, like, every day, they ain't really see. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I really with the Nigerians, you feel me? Like, we going to church, we going to school, we go home, we all live around church, that's really it. But... Once I happen that bike, you know what I'm saying? I happen to bike, I'm on airport, I'm on I'm on Fondren, I'm on Delphi, you know what I'm saying? I'm, a I'm going around the whole city and I'm just seeing different shit. We get engaged into different shit. Niggas trying you on different shit. So it's like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was smoking weed, you know, so whether it was Reggie or not, it was always on some different shit. So at 13, you know what I'm saying? Like, life was different. Like, I wasn't just meeting everybody. It was out there just shooting and killing everybody for no reason type shit. But it was, it was always, everybody had it. You know what I'm saying? Like I was young, I'm riding a bike going on going around the whole city. You know what I'm saying? I'm walking around, walking around, whatever. You feel me? Like I remember I let my little brother wear some shoes. He walking home from school, they had a jumper for the shoes. He ain't he ain't let him get him though. He ten toes down, you feel me? We all ten toes down. But nah, uh it was it wasn't just too different from any other like Nigerian you know, Nigerian child, you know what I'm saying? Our parents was trying to be strict on us from the get go. When I was twelve you know what I'm saying? It was already trip. I had got like this thing from uh, CVS. Like we ran, like we we hit on them like five times a week, like every day, Monday through Friday type shit, like a whole year straight. You know what I'm saying? That was when I was at the park middle school. You know what I'm saying? That was middle school. We gonna maybe like they already knew like shit. If they gonna be bad, if they gonna be bad. But you know what I'm saying? We we was always trying to keep track, like trying to keep focused. You know what I'm saying? They were trying to get like focus on the school shit. I didn't really like the school shit. Like all this shit was, you know what I'm saying? We we cheat. Like, we wasn't really going home doing no homework. I wasn't doing no homework ever. I ain't never doing no homework. That school shit was for me. Like, that shit was cool. Like, I remember. We said we went to school highs. I mean, that shit, that shit was hard. We had a dice game in the restroom. I you know, said so I went to the West Side High School. I was doing I was six, you know, about four. You know, white folk. Every day I seen diversity. You know, so I, I engage shit like that. The diversity, that's what bring on fan base. You know what I'm saying? So when I read 13, I didn't really see too much of the other races like that. Really, black people, African. You go to church on the Sunday, you gonna see a couple of white people, the Indians and shit like that. But really, high school, that's really wanna see like, damn, this is everybody out here. You know what I'm saying? Everybody out here. And everybody do the same shit, everybody do the same drug. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can purchase through it up. So, from 13 to 18, it was just like, we was just on the, on the same route, but you, we was maintaining, you know what I'm saying? Doing their best to keep out of trouble. Or like, let, let this shit come to light, you know what I'm saying? So really, everybody just had to have the same mindset. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? We, we, was, we, was, we was bad, but we were doing good, and you know what I'm saying? So but once that trouble had just overtook, once a nigga came to age, it was just like, damn, like, we're gonna stick with it, you know? But now, I'm 23, you know what I'm saying? So every, everything, I, I, I picture life different, you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, niggas would never go to a man and tell him they wanna be like him, you know what I'm saying? But we wanna be like him, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas might not just run Diddy be like, oh, Diddy, I wanna be like you, but shit. I wanna be like Diddy, though, you know what I'm saying? I wanna be like Jay-Z, though, like Dr. Dre. You know what I'm saying? Look, whoever it is, you know what I'm saying? You wanna have that money, you wanna be able to take care of, you know what I'm saying? That's what you wanna take care of, you know what I'm saying? So, 13 and now, you know what I'm saying? It just taught me, you know what I'm saying? About, about people, how to read these niggas, a lot of these niggas ain't really for you, you feel me? Like, even the niggas you grow up with, you know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna. Niggas, niggas gonna change, niggas gonna switch up, niggas gonna feel different about what it is you got going on, what it is they got going on. You know what I'm saying? Especially like, you know, she got put pride to the side. You know I probably killed pride when I was probably like 15. You know what I'm saying? I like, said, fuck pride, you know what I'm saying? I, I do everything just based on me, based on whatever it is I'm, I'm trying to achieve. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a goal. So 
in a sense. So 13 and now, I done had big goals. You know what I'm saying? I was on Facebook making the music, you know what I'm saying? 15, you know what I'm saying? Lil Wayne popping my favorite rapper, the college rapper, you know what I'm saying? Good five man for real. You know, really inspiring nigga. So we, we on the Facebook making the videos and you know, a lot of that shit. But we the artist, you read the now, you know what I'm saying? We don't need nobody to see none of that. But nah, we was back then, you know what I'm saying? That was a uh, that was a long time ago, and this now, you know what I'm saying? So I feel progress, even if you see like old videos from my first uh, show of Warehouse Live to now, you know what I'm saying? Everybody look, look different, you know what I'm saying? We walk different, we talk different, you know what I'm saying? We weigh different, you know what I'm saying? Everybody feeling good, you know what I'm saying? I feel like time coming, everybody's gonna be good. So picture from 13 to now, we looking back, you know what I'm saying? I'm not proud. I, feel like I ain't got no reason to look down on myself, I'm proud. Uh, being born on the southwest side of uh, Houston, how does it feel like being a knowledge from like a southwest great like Ski Taste? Man, like Ski Taste, you know what I'm saying? They come to, like, he from the west, like, we, we was on the yacht them and all that, you know what I'm saying? I'm up on the bed, we, we all be pulling up, you know what I'm saying? Real nigga, he, he want to work, because I want to work, you know what I'm saying? So I hit boys up, and uh, so I'm, I'm going to try to get that done, we want to get it as soon as possible, you know what I'm saying? But over in the southwest, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody know. Whether you see them or not, you you heard you heard about you know what I'm saying whoever it is that whatever they got going on, and it's just like uh, it's certain niggas we look up to in the West and say we bleed them. You know what I'm saying and a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying some like people they all die young. We got niggas who die young. I don't get names on the names. So G Web nothing, but like I told you, but uh, it just the people so West. It just gave me so much like so West. We the heart. Really, I feel like the heart of Houston. Saying like everything in Southwest, you know what I'm saying? We got the connect going towards everywhere. Everybody wanna fuck with the West. It's not too much of a you know what I'm saying, different, different platform, you feel me? Everybody wanna name their own hood, but they wanna be all they trying to be too different. But everybody really wanna be like how it is in the West though, you know what I'm saying? Like the West really got everything that's going on, you know what I'm saying? They got different games in the West, they got different, you know what I'm saying, people in the West, they got different money in the West, different food in the West. And it just the West got, you know what I'm saying, every road connect down to everything in Houston, so you know what I'm saying. Commuting was easy, shit, you feel me? And so just, uh, like niggas from the West, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to work with the ski tights, you know what I'm saying? And Maxo Cream, you feel me? Free my nigga Clint, you know what I'm saying? He really put me on with Maxo like way back when, you know what I'm saying? So we've been seeing the faith in that nigga, and that nigga done came like, up. Like right now, you know what I'm saying? We proud of boys, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody no, no hate shit right here, you know what I'm saying? We all support each other, you feel me? So the time gonna come where, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody gonna keep putting in their work, you feel me? You can't just. I was thinking you folks, somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody, like I'm saying, he ain't got a song with everybody in cream, you feel me? Like, it, it ain't just how it goes, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I feel I feel solidified out here, you know what I'm saying? In my seat, you know what I'm saying? What we're doing with, with this music, you feel me? Everybody, they gonna know who I am, they don't know, they gonna learn, you know what I'm saying? And you know, we just gonna put on, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to become one of them, one of them greats that everybody wanna link up with, you know, do music with, you know what I'm saying? Like Scarface or, you know, whoever, you feel me? I'm trying to become just like that. Legend in the city, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it could be on some music, it could be on some blogging, it could be on some videos, it could be on some pictures, it could be on whatever it is you do. You know what I'm saying? You become a legend, you become a great, you become, you know what I'm saying, like known, be seen by any by anybody, you know what I'm saying? So it's everybody's still coming up, ski taste still coming up, everybody still got position we all trying to, you know what I'm saying? But we ain't we ain't comparing to each other, you know what I'm saying? We gonna just try to everybody just trying to come on top. Like you're a digi, everybody, you know what I'm saying? A shout out that nigga, you feel me? We got my song coming, you feel me? So it's just, you know, like we, 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 got, we got something coming, really, like, we're just music, you know, it's Houston, you know what I'm saying? Like, they probably think they go think it was one way, but we we got so many different ways, so many different talents, that it's just, it's just crazy, that we can all just come together and be like, damn, oh, he from Houston, I can tell because how he talk, oh, he from Houston, I can tell because how he flow, and it's just going to be, like, we all going to mingle in, you feel me, and just create different magic, you know what I'm saying? Just the same way it was when they had, like, screwed up clicking them, you know what I'm saying? We going to... I try to tell you, Houston, we all come together, we finna have a whole different team, a whole different team of shit, big and small, you know what I'm saying? So everybody got different projects, that everybody just trying to get on, and different shows and all that, you feel me? Like, A-Red might be seen as a great, you know what I'm saying, to engineers, you feel me? So now I'm working with A-Red, so they be like, oh, she working with A-Red, you know what I'm saying? She come record with me, and that's really how it be, you feel me? I don't be going to record it, I don't my niggas on them though, you know what I'm saying? They ain't trying to go pay A-Red fee, but shit, that's how it go though, real talk. Uh, any last words, any last shout outs, anything you want to get off your chest before we get up out of here? Oh, for real, yes, sir. Uh, free my nigga, Clean Cream, you know what I'm saying? Clean gonna come home in a little bit, free Jojo, man. Uh, like, like, like when uh, some of these runners come home, you know what I'm saying? His plan's gonna be pushed forward. 
uh, Open Fly vs. Gabbana Deluxe Edition. You know what I'm saying? That's my most recent tape. Some call it an album, but it ain't really my album. My album, you're going to see, you don't know what it's the album. You know what I'm saying? But go stream that. You know what I'm saying? It's out everywhere. Like I said, young artists, you know what I'm saying? If you if you got any mindset and you really trying to go through, like it's, it's different stages, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can hit my DMs, you know what I'm saying? We can all come chop it up. We can all network. We can all learn what it is, what each other got to do, you know what I'm saying? To get pushed forward. You know what I'm saying? We can all push forward. You know what I'm saying? You can work with me too. You know what I'm saying? It's always going to be a feel. Like I said, ain't nothing ain't free. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? You can go stream me anywhere. Instagram and Twitter, one OB Fly. You know what I'm saying? Website, OBFlyGabana.com. You know what I'm saying? Shout out State Out Productions. You know what I'm saying? Shout out everybody out here working, grinding, hustling. Shout out my nigga Moot. And it's just, uh, everybody keep on pushing. I'm going to keep on pushing. And I'll try to tell y'all when I got some. And when my platform built, like, that's our platform. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a whole new. All new different things that they ain't never even seen before by somebody who supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, on a different level. But we all gonna be on the same level sometime soon. And that's on me. I'll be fly. That's me. All eyes on the phone. Give you whiplash, nigga. Shit, this a Draco with some kid back, nigga. You ain't had it. I broke you up like a Kit Kat, nigga. When I was locked up, you ain't sent cash, nigga. We both know that you pussy. I'm done talking about it. You scared? Go to church. Extra read all about it. Tryna misbehave, pussy nigga, get grounded. You try to hide your feelings, but a real nigga found it. Biggest hypocrite, yeah, I know if you passed this. Got the Texas helmet, just like Jim Allen. Who done did you dirty? That's a real long answer. Watch him die slowly, like he suffered from cancer. He treat the bridge like a baby, make him have a miscarriage. Smoking big backwoods, getting headed for Midge. Call this nigga in the game, tryna buy Ben and Jazz. Shoot a nigga in his face, I'm the real Jason Terry. Nigga, you a pussy, so your bitch just a dyke. Niggas clean the dogs, all bark, no bite. I'll be fly, cloud the glide, no strings attached like kite. Wanted to be like Chopper, you wanted to be like Mike. I ain't making music to promote all the violence. Just rapping what I know, so I'm talking about it. This be my fucking therapist, yeah, I'm done with the silence. Make the chopper on the mother pig, bullet hoes crowded, but boom! And I'll be fly, the bond of bitch. That's the intro, you feel me? It's like who it is, you know what I'm talking about? Everything I'm saying is true, it's facts, and we're gonna put it back. Stand up productions, okay? Uh!